security's too tight. Don't think I can pick this. Mel? Get Sonya over here. Got it. Sonya? Blast time. How come it's been so long since we worked together, Bobby? I've been trying to keep a low profile on this one, Mel. And I didn't want to get you wrapped up in it, unless I had to. We've been through worse jobs than this. We're not done yet, are we? Encouraging. No flesh off of my face. But you two might want to watch out for the radiation around here. The thing on this one's wrist has a Geiger counter equipped. I'll just keep my ears open for clicks. I don't want to nerd out over it, but a Robco Pip Boy is a rare find, my friend. You're gonna have to let me play with it later. Blue, we're not alone. No way I could pick this. 
can carry something if you need me to. Over here, Mel. Gotcha. Sonia. We're getting really close. There's a brewery near our strong room. This has to be the basement of that brewery. Mel, no. Just kidding. Over here. That wasn't so bad. To hell with you. You want to dance? Let's dance. thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful.
can't break the code. We need to get through here, Mel. Sonia, you know what to do. One up and I think the one robot is enough, Mel. All right, we'll take it. Mel. If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubt. Being on the move again. You were paper cuts from back home. We need Sonya here. No problem. Come on, Sonya. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Thank you. 
it on back. Shall we? Next is Crazy He Calls Me by Billy Holiday. No way I could pick this. We need Sonya here. Gotcha. Sonya.
We need to get through here, Mel. No problem. Come on, Sonia. Bobby. Getting closer. You can count on me. I am counting on you to make sure nothing that wants to eat us gets its way. Not getting us lost down here would be nice, too. Hey, go hey. check that out. Yep. Mel. If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubts, the strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. Doubts? It just doesn't seem like we're under Diamond City, does it? I don't think Bobby's telling us everything about this job. I'm ready. You got it. Let's do this. Ready, Sonya? What can I do?
Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the bar? Well, we can find out the answer. That's right. Let's just get up there. If I'm wrong, oh well, we find another way. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya, and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well, then make it so. He won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right, then. Everybody clear out. Sonya? Prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go. That didn't sound good. Hope someone's okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? No, 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 Sonya! Pull yourself. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. But... You can make another robot with the haul we get from the strong room. Keep your head in the game. Bobby. Almost there, guys. Just keep thinking of the caps. You're not doing anything to help. I am paying you to do a job. You don't like it, you can leave. Listen to her. What does this have to do with Hancock? Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice no nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know, Hancock, the mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys, I know this isn't what you expected. But there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out, and all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? What is this about, Bobby? Why did you lie to us? I knew no one in their right mind would help me rip off Hancock. Everyone is so damn afraid of him, is so damn in love with him. He thinks he is invincible. I wanted to show him he wasn't. You lied to us, Bobby. And you have to pay. You can't do this to me. This isn't how this is supposed to go. Know what? Fine. More for me. 
already know. I want to part of <laughs> I have to say, I'm not really cool with having this one down. What are you gonna do now? Oh, I'll probably go somewhere where no one has ever heard of Hancock or anyone who's ever worked for him. Well, I'm out of here. Sorry for almost stealing. Mel. What a waste of time. You made the... You made the... Hey there. You made the right move. Bobby lied to us. I'm glad it shook out this way. I was itching for a fight. But I guess this works too. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. Have a lot more Bobby. limbs and a lot less hair what are you doing around here to my shit. Home? You seriously didn't think Hancock would catch wind of your scheme? He took you in, Bobby. And you're stealing from him? Don't listen to her. Mel was right. This isn't Diamond City. So what? This doesn't change anything. It is still the same job. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. I know this isn't what you expected. But there is still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out, and all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? I am gonna see this through, Bobby. You won't regret this. Might as well finish what we started. Wrong move. probably had the key. See if you can find it. Don't have the key.
me check it out first. Hey. Bobby. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta be tons of dirt on Hancock in here. Yeah, well, I'm just glad we made it through all that alive. And now you get paid for it. So quit your whining. And you, I couldn't have pulled this off without your help. What's next for you? Well, I can't really go back to good neighbor now, can I? I've been thinking of starting a settlement in Southey, and now that I have the caps, I'm going to do it. It's going to be big. I think I deserve a bigger cut for my role in all this. I may be a lowlife kid, but I'm not a welcher. Of course you deserve more. You were the linchpin of this operation. Here is your share. You done good, kid. Enjoy. I'm gonna need some time off after this job, but we should work together again sometime. Mel. I'm gonna need some time off after this job, but we should work together again sometime. My brotherhood, you're nothing.
Now here I thought I sent you to scout out Pikmin Gallery. Exactly what part of that sounded like rob my strong room to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play stupid with me. It's unattractive. No one steals from me. But I gotta admit, you and Bobby pulled one hell of a job. Almost makes me wish I had done it myself. Now, if it was just the money, I'd rough you up, break a few bones, and then we'd be square once you paid me back. But you killed Fahrenheit. That means blood for blood. Fortunately for you, I'm short on muscle. And Bobby was the brains. You track her down, put a knife in her, and get back my, let's say, thousand caps, and we'll pretend this was all a misunderstanding. Are you nuts? There's no way all that was worth a thousand caps. No, it wasn't. But you blowing a hole in my strong room and killing my bodyguard? You can bet that smooth little face of yours that made up the rest. I'll take care of it. That was the right answer. Bobby's smart, but not half as smart as she thinks she is. She's been having all her new tidings of wealth shipped to a building in South Boston. That's where you'll be heading. Now go.
just like that. Another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? How about some Billy Holiday, folks? This here is crazy, he calls it. <laughs> no. You testing gravity or something? You got a line on him? Well, look who it is. Makes a ghoul a bit nervous, though, you showing up here on... So who hired you to track me down? It was Hancock, wasn't it? Who do you think sent me? I assume you're here on behalf of that violent old ghoul. But I want to hear it from your lips. That job really pissed him off. He wants me to take you out. Is that so? And what exactly are you planning to do about it? What would you do in a situation like this? Me? Well, I tried hiring someone with my newfound wealth to put a bullet in that tricorn wearing clown. But every guy I spoke with was either on his take or just laughed in my face. At this point, though, all I want to know is what you're planning to do. If you leave your caps and run, I'll take them to Hancock and say I put you down. No one has to die. All right, fine. Guess there's no point in hanging on to them if they're just gonna get me killed. I already spent a chunk of it. So you're gonna have to make up the difference. You're welcome to hawk whatever you can carry out of here. And listen, I appreciate you doing this the civilized way. I won't forget it, wherever the hell I end up. Bobby. Take whatever you want. Someone else will make off with it if you don't. Holy scamoli! That ain't true, is it? Ripped off Hancock. What, you got a death wish or something? How you doing? Mayor Hancock? Well, hey there, Trouble. You got something to say to me? I couldn't do it. I couldn't kill Bobby. Lost your nerve, huh? Well, then I guess you're gonna have to make it up to me. Now, let's talk about my caps. You are on the hook for a grand. Look, Bobby left a whole bunch of stuff. Just sell that. Ah, look at you scrambling around. You're off the hook. Ain't like I need the money. This thing with Bobby. Had to be done, but damn, look at me. Have I turned into the man? 
Putting down people's freedom to do what comes natural? I gotta take a walk. Get back in touch with my fellow lowlifes. That's why I've decided. I'm coming with you. Hitting my strong room proves you've got that devil take me attitude I need to reconnect with. Why would you want to come with me when I helped kill your bodyguard? Hell, I kill all kinds of people and shake hands with their friends afterwards. You know how many boys used to have old Finn's back? Now don't get me wrong. Fahrenheit and me had history. And if this was a personal hit, killing you would be priority number one. But I know you were just trying to get a job done. I can respect that. Why would you want to leave Good Neighbor? For one, you pulled a job on me. That means I'm getting too comfortable. Need to get out there and hone the razor. For two, Good Neighbor is about doing your own thing. If I don't leave every once in a while, the power's gonna change me, and I can't have that. Glad to have you with me. Before we head out, I gotta have a little chat with the community. I'll meet ya afterwards. In, Bobby. And you're stealing from him? Don't listen to her. What does this have to do with him? Yeah, about that. I see the rest of you are in the... Nice, no-nos. You all just broke... You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. I know, uh -huh. but there is still a ton of... Mm -hmm. Help me take her out. This is Hancock we're ripping off. Uh -huh. Counter-offer. Just, what do you say? Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. Well, shit. You're right. I'm not one to give up. But I know when I'm outmatched. Let's go. Thank God. I don't know why I trusted you again, Bobby. But that was the last time. You'll get over it. Now let's split before the girl changes her mind. What a waste of time. You made the... Excuse me. You made the right move. How did you find us? If you think Hancock doesn't know about everything that happens in his territory, you're mistaken. You have to know you guys weren't exactly silent down there. Sorry to cause you trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. Can't pick this. Excuse me. Hey.
What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Cleo. Allen, Hotel I've Rexford. I've got a weapon here oh. for every situation. Let's see what you have. A gun? Uh-huh. What you admiring? The clothes or the man wearing them? Hey, your friend. Is that Piper, the reporter? I'm a big fan. Mayor Hancock? Well, if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy. Here, for protecting my stash. Why is decision turning on Bobby like that? I'm sorry. For everything. Hey, this is good, neighbor. No hard feelings. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri-corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. If you're heading out, why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Let me just have a little chat with my community first. Give them the news. Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush, everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey. 
I'm always gonna be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor! Of the people! Of the people. Of the people. For the people! And don't let no one forget it. <laughs>